Well, um, good afternoon everyone and welcome, well I can say on the jigger, except that you're not on the jigger, we decided to for a change get to jump off the vehicle as unfortunately the jigger is not in good shape. We've been jumping back and forth today between uh, maybe trying a bit of a drive, as you know this morning the car overheated quite a lot and quite suddenly. Um, I've had a long chat with Rexon who knows a fair lot about engines and um, we've come to the conclusion that most likely it's the water pump. Um, and that's obviously something you don't want to mess with. But before I go into car decisions and engine talk, welcome to, to the vehicle and welcome to the drive that unfortunately won't be going out this afternoon. Um, I just thought of something else we'll share with you. So we are going to be talking a little bit here at the Jigger, about the Jigger, with the Jigger, but we won't be driving the Jigger. Um, we're still here at camp, as you can see just in the background. Well, in this case, a big worry bush now as Herman is having you walk around a little bit. But... Um, Basically, just from a pure vehicle point of view, we, we did contemplate and, and did think of taking a chance and going for a bit of a drive, maybe to, to quarantine and so on. But the, the chance or the possibility is there then that because the water pump, if it is the problem, which it looks like, isn't working, you actually don't have any water circulating through the engine. And then you could actually damage the top part quite severely. And that would be a, a much more lengthy problem to sort out and, and also uh, much more expensive um, a combination of two things that neither one of the two are good, but both combined, uh, apart from the financial aspect of a, of, a, of a new half of an engine, which is a lot of money, it also would mean that a much greater time would be lost, maybe even a week or so with a damaged engine. So we don't want to risk that. We do have Tabang coming out here. Many of you know the name of Tabang by now. Tabang has also gotten to know the Jigger very well. Um, he's an expert BMW engine mechanic, which is this engine, and he's going to come have a look for us, see if he can narrow it down more specifically, see if it's something that he can fix or temporarily fix at least, um, and if he can fix it, we'll have the morning drive. If he can't fix it, then at least in the morning early, he can come with the parts from Acorn Hook and, and fix the car properly. So that's the plan. Uh, he was aiming to be at 5 o'clock. We just spoke to him about 10 minutes ago. It looks like he might be at 5, maybe even slightly earlier, and then he'll start on the car. We're going to keep you updated. Um, during the course of the afternoon, well, after five, if there is a change or more to know, nice and hotter, and if I'm sweating it, <laughs> it certainly does feel like summer. Um, but also, do remember that we have our, our fireside chat tonight, or the highlights, Sunday night highlights, and uh, we're going to be talking about the Nguhuma Pride tonight. We had a fantastic sighting earlier this week with Rexon. We're going to have a look at some of that. We're also going to look at some of the earlier stuff back when it was still summertime, and, um, and, and some of the earlier memories and stories of Nguhuma's. I don't want to give away too much about those lions now. We'll be talking about them more tonight. So that is still coming up tonight at 6.30 Central African time. Um, and we'll be telling you lots more about the Lions, showing you more of them as well. But also, we'll fill you in again then at the time um, as to what the status is of the Jigger, what things are looking like for the morning and so on. So just to update you with that, um, Herman is walking around with you. Lishan is in final control. Rex and Patrick were looking at the engine as well. They've just headed off now. And, um, and that's the basic plan for the moment i think while Herman is just moving to a slightly a different spot there um just as we were getting ready to to tell you this and unfortunately it's obviously not it's not nice news or happy news it's 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 never it's never enjoyable to not be able to go out because of various technical things in this case today the car but it is something that will be fixed it is something we've got an expert on the way for at the moment we are in the middle of the bush so he doesn't just come from around the corner he's come from um he was actually even further out than acorn hook um, so it's going to take him a while to get here, but we are on it. We're going to fix it as soon as we can, but we also don't want to take the chance of maybe damaging it more and then losing much more time. So that's why we're not going to have the drive this afternoon. But I did think, however, when we, this was a bit of a last minute decision, how are we going to tell you about this? I thought what we could do, since I was going to challenge the girls with it the other day at the Ranger race, I was going to challenge them to uh, change a tire and see how quickly they can do it. But then we decided, you know, it's... They did say their gloves were off. You don't want to change tires with no gloves on. There's <laughs> Leeson saying hello. Um, I thought I'll show you how to do it. It's a nice hot summer day. I'll probably build up a bit of a sweat. Um, Herman is building up a sweat as well, standing around with the camera in his hand. So we're going to show you that. But I only thought of that just as we were coming live to the vehicle. So what I'm going to need to do is just run back to final control for a second. And, um, and go get a radio microphone so I can talk to you while we're doing the job. And, uh, and we're going to do... a practical one-on-one -on -one how to change a Jigger tire in the bush. We're going to do that in about two minutes as soon as I can run there and back and get the sound hooked up. So we're going to go back to the water briefly. 
but uh, don't go anywhere or if you want to know how to change a tire how a high lift jack works and so on and there's some other friends of yours that might want to see how it's done as well um, I've changed a couple of these tires in my life so uh, it should be a reasonable um, explanation of how to change a tire with a high lift jack um, we can do that in a couple of minutes so enjoy the water off for the moment um, I was going to say we could just look around here but I think the water is probably more interesting enjoy the water and we'll see you back here in about two minutes as soon as those Franklins have stopped calling I'll be back with gloves for the hell of it sake of it don't know why that came out hey put up your car
Oh, welcome back in the Jigger. Um, quickly got the sound sorted. And uh, as I said earlier, if you've maybe just joined us in the last minute or two, just a quick recap. Um, I mentioned earlier that we, after much deliberation and looking at various things, the overheating problem from this morning is most likely the water pump. Um, we're not the experts, but Rex knows quite a bit about engines between myself and Graham as well. We discussed it. And it's the kind of problem that we don't want to take a chance of even going for a shortage drive because it could mean no water going into the engine and cooling it. This might bore a lot of you, but it could then mean damaging the engine quite severely, even to the point of cracking the top part of the engine, which then is a huge thing. It'll take a long time to fix. So we don't want to take the chance of making longer to fix damage than it is at the moment. We do have to bung on his way as well. He'll be uh, around five, maybe slightly earlier, even if we're lucky. And he's an expert in these specific engines. He will have a look at it, see if he can make a short-term solution for us or a plan or fix it, hopefully, or um, otherwise tomorrow morning first and get the parts and get it sorted but later on tonight we will know exactly what's going on by the time that we have the highlights fireside chat tonight which will be about the Unkuruma lines we'll give you more updates and information on the engine as well so that was the the plan just to announce that for you unfortunately we can't go out but then I thought you know what we've changed a lot of tires and I was going to challenge the girls the other day with it as I said um, they did have their gloves off so I thought rather not to challenge them with the gloves off because the hands can get dirty and it's a bit of a job. So I'm going to just take you through a, a bit of a how to change a tire in a Land Rover in the bush. If you want to join us for that. Firstly, you're driving along with a car that's working 100% like Jigger will be again by tomorrow. Ooh. Then you know you've got a problem. So the first thing to do, a couple of things. The thing to really remember... Especially with other four-wheel drives, a Land Rover is, this is maybe a bit boring, but the, the handbrake on a Land Rover doesn't work on the, on the discs or on the drums like a lot of handbrakes do. Um, it works on the, the shaft itself, so uh, it actually does keep the vehicle still. You can actually jack the one point up if you have the handbrake up properly. Generally speaking, it's not a bad idea to put a, a rock or a log or something square or solidish behind the wheel to make sure the car doesn't roll once you jack it. In this case, I know it's fine, the handbrake's up nice and I know the jigger is going to stand. The next thing you need is, uh, see the vehicle has everything we need. Yeah, let's, let's take it slowly. We're not in a big rush. We've got a toolbox here with a whole bunch of things in it. Some extra power steering fluid. Some bug spray. Just so everyone's safe. Extra jackets. Not that we need it. It's the summer here. This is always good to have, white gold. Brake fluid. Towing rope, always a good thing to have. General rope, always a good thing to have. Insulation tape, especially a Jigger vehicle with all the electrics and things on it. Insulation tape is always good to have. Coffee mug, but it's empty, not worth much. Cable tie is always a good thing to have. Let me just quickly get your feet here together. No, maybe not. We don't want to have one falling on your face. And 17 spanner for changing the rig for the night camera. Screwdriver for the base plate. Extra thing in majiggy to uh, hold the battery in place. But this is what we're looking for. Tire lever. No, don't worry, I'm not going to beat you with it now. This is just for changing the tire. Just kidding around. Okay, so that's that. Um, let's talk about the... <whistles> Let me go grab a spare first. Now, just, this is the one thing I'm going to take a little bit of artistic freedom in, whatever the term is. Normally, you would take a spare tire off the back of the jig, which is where the mast is over. But since that one is on and ready and waiting to be used, I'm going to grab one of our other spares. But generally speaking, it's just good to get your spare tire off first. Let's make sure my sound's good. Get your spare tire off first before you start jacking up the vehicle and start taking the tire off. Yes, Lishan? Hey, it is. I'm just handy the duct tape. It fixes everything. <laughs> duct tape does fix almost everything, Claire. I fixed a multitude of things with duct tape. It's also very good for tying ankles together, but that's a different story for Herman. Um, so, it's a good thing to get your spare tire ready beforehand. Reason being, just now, maybe you've jacked the whole car up and you've got the wheel off and everything, and it's all balanced. And now you realize, ah, oh, the tire is still in the back of the car. Now you've got to go loosen it, carry it off, and you're moving the car around. So it's good to get all your pieces together. I'm going to just grab one over there because it's easier. The nice thing with a tank 
is we don't need to change tyres anymore. The brick brick go flat. Alright, so you need to tyre. <laughs> so I have to tell you a quick story. Yes, the other day I needed another tyre. Is this one? Yeah, this one's good. Patrick grabbed one off the back of the bubble and started running down the road towards where the campus was set up for the evening and he had Patrick chasing tyres. It was quite funny. Alright, so then we've got our spare ready and waiting. It's quite hot, eh? Pulling off a bit of a sweat. I wonder if I... I think people are going to mind if I take my shirt off, eh? Huh? Ah, yeah, Graham, stressing at the moment. Ah, why not? Alright, it's a bit better. Not as hot now. You need a high lift jack. That's always important. Actually, come look at this thing before I take it off. The deck I'm talking about. It's um, bolted onto the front of the vehicle with two, I don't know what you call these actually, O-bolts. Benefit of this is you can never tighten them too much and then end up not being able to take them off. And... Um, for that, so we use these as opposed to normal bolts and take them off quite easily. Now, a high lift jack is an incredibly useful thing. Um, I've I've got vehicles out of mud and sand and very difficult conditions, ditches, holes. You can use it for all kinds of recovery techniques as well. You can even use it as a winch if you have the right ropes and, and circumstances. But ultimately for changing a tire it's also very handy. You actually get an attachment, which we don't have this one, but you get an attachment that you hook onto this and that then goes into the hole here in the in the bumper. And if you can show that I'm on just for interest. So if you do have these what you call jack points. You can have an attachment that clips up and that slides into the hole and that actually is a much safer way even because it can't slide. Worst case scenario, something can happen and the car can slide. Actually, this might be a tricky change. We'll see how it goes. I might have to be a bit careful because the car is standing all kinds of here. Yeah. Okay, so then you've got your jack. You don't jack it up yet, but I'm just going to put it there so there's some tension on it. Alright, let's leave it like that for now. Before you jack the car up, you have to loosen the, the nuts first. Okay. Good boots are also handy in case you need to stand on this thing, but over the years I've gotten quite used to operating in the bush with flip-flops. Alright, you don't want to loosen them, you just want to have them loose enough that you can loosen them once the car is backed up. Let me just see the balance. Oh, we should be right. Let me straighten that a little bit. There we go. Right. Now these are the small things that I said we have time I'm going to mention it. As I said, the car is standing in downhill and all Okay. Okay, how are we now? Uh, it's in Technical things.
How's that, Misha? to do it. Maybe get it on the chart, but I don't know. It's just not that ideal, but see if we have a church. Sorry, we're just going to try something else. Get it really steady. How's it looking, Misha? Well, welcome back. Sorry about that. It's a bit frustrating. Some technical thing that's how it goes. We have a chat point where it's all steady and no fun. Nothing to fix it. Hello, but it's Lisa and Jim of Final Control. Um, yeah, it's, gremlins aren't just in the jigger. It seems to be with the broadcast too, or at least not the broadcast, but um, from the jigger to the Altaya. So they're going to go and reboot the Altaya and see if that makes a difference. Don't exactly know where the problem is, or I don't at least. Um, so we'll be back with them shortly and hopefully we'll finish this, this lesson entire changing in the bush that um, apparently... 
uh, particular sex needs um, info on that. I'm not, I'm not going to go into this this debate. <laughs> but anyway, so so hopefully we get back to tire changing and then later to the fireside chat. But for now, we're having a bit of a technical problem. So we're just going to reboot and um, everything and just um, see if that helps. But I'll keep you informed. As always, thanks for joining us. Well, everyone, we're still out here at the car, and Lishan just letting us know the fantastic news. A herd of elephant heading down to the water hole. The hippos are active. It seems there's a bit of interaction. So enjoy the action and the activity at the water hole. Bit of a technical problem there. I think we can sort it out, It'll, but we'll need to go and do some things at Yuri's side. Um, so it's not something we can do quick. And uh, the tire change, I think we'll do another one sometime soon again. One of these afternoons, I was actually having a lot of fun, but it's a bit difficult if you jumping around in the picture so um, enjoy the elephants enjoy the afternoon we will update you a little bit later once we know from the mechanic what the jigger's situation is and i'll see you and look forward to seeing you tonight around the fire for some highlights we're going to talk about the mkuhumas tonight lions for those of you that haven't been in this long specific group of lions that we see quite often enjoy the elephants and i'll see you later tonight <laughs> 